welcome to Rose City, the after show, the podcast where we dive into the world of the popular novel Rose City by author Karina Q. In each episode, we will be discussing a different aspect of the books from the complex characters to the intricate plot twists and everything in between. Check out Rose City on Kindle Bella to stay up to date as we explore unique perspectives and insights on the story. So today's icebreaker question is, when is the right time to introduce your parents to the person you're dating? Anybody want to kind of like jump into that a little bit? Well, my parents already knew. Um, when did I introduce this Negro? I don't even think I, it wasn't like a formal introduction. I, um, he just came by and I was just like, hey, mom, this is, this is him. And then, um, you know, we were together for a while and it ended up getting married. What's funny, he didn't introduce me to his parents until about maybe a month before we got married. Um, mm. He waited quite a bit. We dated for two years. So, um, yeah, it was about a month before he's like, OK, I, you know, come to the house. And I was still living in Tacoma. He um, is in Oregon. So it was a bit of a drive. And um, they had a lunch set up at the house and he's like okay these are my parents and a month later we were married so they had you know they knew their son was out dating and stuff like that but they didn't know he had a serious girlfriend or anything until right right like no outings or not like his brother knew his sister knew uh friends or whatever but his mom and dad did not meet me until about a month before we got married so was that something that was alarming to you or you were just kind of like, whatever, like it didn't really bother you? Um, yeah. 23 year old me, you know, I'm, you think about it. I'm, I'm, I'm nuts now. So at 23, um, I didn't really think much of it. Um, yeah, I didn't think much of it. Um, he surprised me when he proposed. So, um, we were just dating having a good time or whatever. I had met his brother and um, I had met his sister and like all his friends or whatever. And we would just hang out and have a good time. And I didn't really think about meeting his parents um, until he said, hey, you know, um, we, I want you to meet my mom and dad. So, and my mom wants to meet you. She, she his brother told his mother, like, hey, Nick's been seeing this girl for a few, for a little while, and she wanted to meet me. So they set up a little lunch at their house, and uh, I came and I met the parents oh, okay. one month before we got married, two years after dating, <laughs> even though he knew mine. So. Okay. So I think the right time to meet, to introduce, someone that you're dating uh, to your parents um, is after you guys have start talking about them becoming the new family member, you know, you want to, they, you want them to be a part of the family. Um, and I don't, I don't see a reason to introduce them other than that. You know, why do they need to meet anybody that you're just, you know, having fun with, you know? So when it's getting serious, I definitely think that um, when it's something that's getting serious, then it's time to meet the parents. But I don't feel like all of a sudden you're like, oh, this just feels serious. Then all of a sudden it's like, yo, mom and dad, like you should have at least mentioned me a couple of times. Like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dating Karina or yeah, I'm taking my, my girlfriend out or whatever. Like I may not know them, but they need to know about me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just kind of weird that all of a sudden we, we get, we've been together eight, to 12 months and now we're like yo like this is really feeling like it's moving in the right direction and starting to feel like we're going somewhere with this i could see myself with you and you're telling me that too and then i go to your parents house and they're like well, we just found out about you on wednesday and it's saturday so um because i don't feel like the family's really going to be on board you know for them they might be looking at the situation like well who are you you know and um if he's somebody well he I'm going to say, you know, for me, and I think all of us, I can speak this for us, where we're at in life, we're not build a bay. No, it's you better come fully assembled with batteries included, okay? Um, so he would definitely be somebody of substance. You know, he definitely going to be somebody 
of a high caliber. You know what I mean? And so with that, you don't want his family to be looking at you like we just found out about you on Wednesday. You know, he has bop, 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 bop. Who are you? What do you bring? You know what I'm saying? And I'm, then I have to feel some kind of way. Like now I need to justify myself. Like I have this degree and I have this business going on and I don't want to do that. So it's it's definitely best that if you feel some kind of way, you know, you let your family know that you're dating me, um, you know, and just kind of randomly talk about me. But in terms of like, when are you meeting my family? Um, anyways, <laughs> let's say, um, that's an inside thing. So yeah, y'all know what I mean. Um, we would definitely have to be serious. I mean, even for the kids, you know what I mean? Cause I am a mom and you're, you're not going to be talking to me for two weeks. And it's like, Oh, well, Albert wants to um, take me and the kids out. No, you're not. I, I need to make sure I spend enough time with you. And it's real because people are out here faking vibes every single day, pretending you know, and um, I just don't want my kids getting attached to anybody. And I show sure am not getting attached to nobody who's not worthy of the attachment. So slow down, take your time. But we're not inter being introduced to anybody's family or children until we are really on some like we know this is something real. This is something different. This is something special. There's definitely like conversation about like weddings in the future, like near future. So that's just me. I don't have like a 90 day rule. I want to meet your family. No, it doesn't have to be that. But definitely we have to know this is something real. Um, because I know for my household and like my family, you know, my brothers are great. I just ran, you know, randomly showing up, popping up at my mama house with some new chick. And my mom's like, hi, um, praise God. Um, what church do you go to? And I'm just like, if I brought, you know, three guys around here in the same month, you know, Karina, you're going to hell, you know, and you just, you're just fast and you just out here laying your body down with everybody. Like I'd get talked about by her and she'd have me on her prayer call and they'd be praying for my salvation. My brother's doing, it's like, you know how they are. Oh, okay. No standards for the men, huh? Got all these high standards for the women. So, um, yeah, that's my thoughts definitely got to be heading in the direction of something real. So uh, let's do a, a brief recap on this chapter. This is episode 25, Meet the Parent. So in this episode... Finally, Chance Master Plan is all starting to come together. Brother it's Chan. Together. Brother Chan Kong. Kwong. Mm. Kwong. Plan is Kwong. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming together. You know, um, Chan told Frank, I'm going to, you know, I, I want to come to your house, meet your family, have your daughter, because Chan wanted that to kind of be the formal introduction. Malia has no idea that Frank was beaten um, <laughs> within an inch of his life by Chan and his people. Yeah, baby, chaining folks up, beating people's daddies down, right? She has no idea that Chan and his people were behind that attack. So Chan's like, okay, what are we going to do here? You know, I want you to let Malia know since you got her into this situation of stealing her money and all this stuff is missing and people are suing her and she just has a bunch of issues happening and she needs this money. Tell her that you found somebody who will be able to give a loan, but you need to sit down. Um, they're, they're, they're willing to come to the house as a courtesy to the family because they know us. You know, when you know people, they show up to your house. Baby, that's a different kind of level of power right there. OK, they're not like, I have a 1230. No, baby. Hmm. They come into the house. They come to the crib. Right. So. He's like, I know somebody he's coming through, you know, he'll talk to us at the house, give us all the details. Malia didn't want to go, you know, she just wanted to go home, probably, you know, curl herself into a ball and cry about how bad her life was. Remember, folks, she just left this ungodly baby shower, you know, where all the mud was being slung. It was a mess. So mm -hmm. to now have to leave from that, to have to go back into the world of my financial woes, I got to go see my father who's been dodging me and it hasn't been doing me right. So... She shows up and, well, before she shows up, her mother and father have quite an interaction. We've been talking a lot about Sandy and talking about Malia and talking about this society and how 
women there think and how Malia's mom is interacting. And this is the first time Sandy has come on the scene and she's given us a taste of who she is and what she's about. Ladies, what were some of y'all's thoughts about Miss Sandy Williams, honey? What, what was we thinking about Auntie Sandy? Aunt Sandy reminded me a lot of Sister Heidi. Um, <laughs> she will pop Parker. back in a minute. Miss Heidi Parker. Miss Parker. 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 Parker, Miss Parker didn't play. Um, for those that don't know, my mother, God rest her soul, um, she she was a fiery one. And you know, my 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 pops is a little nuts, and she it's it's like she's the only one that could tame him. She was not scared. Um, you know, he'd be mad about something, just like with Frank, mad at work, mad he got caught up in some mess and want to take it out on focus. She who are you talking to? Okay, you want to do this? Let's go. Like that's my mom. <laughs> that's where I get it from. Um, so I, I read this chapter and chuckled a little bit. I'm like, this is some Dallas Heidi energy. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's what I thought of Sandy. Sandy reminded me a lot of my, my mother. Mm -hmm. So, um, with the pop off and then, you know, how yeah. to look, I used to say that my mom and dad played this Tom and Jerry thing where they like to mess with each other, you know, like, uh, you, there's a story my mom told me where she was mad at my dad and instead of like fighting with him or whatever, she set up his tripod. My dad is really into electronics and, and you know, the newest gadgets and gadgets or whatever. And my mom, my dad was down washing his car and she was at the top of the stairs outside. She had set up the tripod and everything. She goes, oh, Dallas. And he looks up and she just goes like this and tips over his, type, his tripod with his camera and stuff on it. So it would go down the stairs and break. Like they would do stuff like that. <laughs> my dad would mess with her, you know, and <laughs> throw water on her while she sleep. Like, oh, yeah, they were like Tom and Jerry. Um, my parents too. But my mom, yeah, Kitty and um, yeah. my dad would throw water on my mom sometime and a whole fight would break out. And I'm like, <laughs> right. So the fact that Sandy popped back, I, I kind of enjoyed that. When she's like, hold on, who do you think you're talking to? And then when she really, he needed help. Help me on my shoe. <laughs> nah, you figure it out yourself since you got all that energy. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, I, I love that about her. I love me some Miss Sandy. No, <laughs> Miss Sandy. Come through, Mother yes. Sandy. Mother Sandy. <laughs> She don't play. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I love the uh, Sandy's character. I I admire women that have that fiery energy enough to speak it, like just what say what's on their mind, say how they feel. Like my girl Karina over here and Elysia too. Y'all got it good because I'm still working on it, you know. So Excuse. I really love Sandy's character and how she got with her husband's program, and I'm like, ooh, that was a good comeback. You know? right. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it, I, I, I enjoyed seeing the side of uh, Malia's upbringing kind of get that. Definitely. Parent, so it was really nice. I, I definitely agree. I think um, seeing Malia's parents gives you some understanding a little bit like who she is, how she's raised, like what is her, her views on life a little bit, because Frank is extremely agitated, you know, um, his hand, the fingers is broken from being beaten up within an inch of his life. Right. It's, it's funny. It's funny. I'm sorry. It is like he was beat down, baby. Like they had him chained up. Like it was, it was a situation. He got hammered. Girl. <laughs> not in the way we talk about being hammered, but, um, so bold to know he beat that man within an inch of his life. To the house. You got beautiful. No, come to the house. <laughs> hilarious i'm sorry that just no it was and so frank is he's really agitated right now you know he's super agitated his hand hurts he's trying to put on this nice suit and his tie and you know sandy's coming in the room and he's flashing oh you know he's just all over the place and so because his anxiety is high he's in pain he doesn't want to do this he's upset with himself he's pissed off at chan um he's mad that he has to go along with this plan of action He's just like snapping on her. And she's like, where is this coming from? But again, you know, Sandy's not like, babe, you know, that really hurt my feelings. Sandy's like, no, I, I, who are you talking to? Like, you know, and she's like, I'm going to let that slide because I think it's the medicine, but I'll break your other hand. Like, she's like, don't play with me. So I just thought that Sandy was like super dope. And we're going to go a little bit more into her because there's some questions that are going to go back to why I think she's super dope. She just speaks her mind and 
It, it definitely is on some Tom and Jerry stuff because she was saying some things to Frank and he was like, you're acting like I'm not even in the room. So it was, um, yeah, it was cute. Definitely. Uh, Sandy's a boss. Thank you.